Grade 4 Math, number 18. Multiply using expanded form. Remember, expanded form is a way to write numbers grouped by their place value. It's all broken up. 253 is 250s, 50, and 3. Right? So you can multiply this way. It's a way of getting partial products like we did in the last video. So if you have 5 times 217, you can do 5 times 200 plus the 10 plus the 7, and you can distribute them. 5 times 2 is 10. See the 10 right here? And then we add the two zeros afterwards, see? So 5 times 2 is 10, and then we put the two zeros from the 200 on, and we get 1,000, okay? 5 times 10... We could have done 5 times 1 and add the 0, but the 10s are not that hard. 5 times 10 is 50, so we got the 10. Now I need to do the 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Now we add them up. 0 and 0 and 5 is 5. 5 and 3 is 8. 0 drops down. The 1 drops down. So we get 5 times 217 is 1,085. And we did that in expanded form, all broken up, getting partial products. See that? Okay, let's do this one. 3 times 1,314. So we're going to break it into 1,000, 300, 10, and 4. 3 times 1, which is right here, is 3. And then we add the three zeros. See? We add the zeros afterwards. 3 times 3, here's the 3 is 9, and then we add the two zeros afterwards, see? 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 4 is 12. We add them all together, 0, 0, and 0 is t and 2 is 2, 0, 0, 3, and 1 is 4, 0 and 9 is 9, and we drop the 3 down, so 3 times 1,314 is 3,942. One last one, just to make sure you've got it. We're going to do 6 times 5,326. So that means we're going to do 6 times 5,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 6. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is the 6 times 5, which is right here, and that's 30. And then we're going to add the three zeros. See? Then we're going to do 6 times 3, which is 18, and add the two zeros from it. See? We do 6 times 3, which is 18, and then add the two zeros. Then we're going to do 6 times 2, which is 12, and add the one zero from right here. See? Turns it into 120. Then we're going to do the 6 times 6. It's the last one. 6 times 6 is 36. Now we get to add it all up. 0 and 0 and 0 and 6 is 6. 0, 0, 2 and 3 is 5. 0, 8, 1 is 9. 0 and 1 is 1, and we drop the 3 down. So 6 times 5,326 is equal to 31,956. Wasn't that easy? That's using expanded form to multiply and it's getting partial products. Just adding the zeros on after you multiply the thousands, see? And just break it up into expanded form. Then multiply and then add. We'll keep going and I'll see you next video. Bye!